How to add Amazon wish list to Linktree. Hello everyone, I'm Jason. The first thing you will need to do is go on to Amazon.com. Once you're on Amazon, I want you to go over to the top right hand corner, right where you see your profile name, and you're going to hover over that. Then right where you see your list, you're going to tap on create a list. As we are going to be creating our wish list, once you have done that, you'll be redirected to this platform and all you'll have to do is scroll down then tap on create a list. After you have done that from here, you can simply type in wish list right here. So let me do that. Tap on create a list. Then you can type in the name that you would like to add. So we are going to type in wish list. Let us do that real quick. Then we are going to tap on create list. After you have tapped on create list, you will be redirected to this page. Okay, now that you have created your wish list, all you'll need to do now is start adding some stuff to your list. And to do that is quite easy. For example, I could scroll down and let's say I would like to add one of these projectors to my list. All I would have to do is tap on the projector. For example, you can see right here. And once you have done that, all you'll need to do is scroll down and right below where you see the add to cart and buy now button, you are going to scroll down and you are going to realize that you now see the option add to list. And all you have to do is tap on that. Once you have tapped on that, a new page will open up and you can see one item added to wish list. And all you have to do now, you can tap on continue shopping. And from there, you can choose more products. So for example, if I would like to add this Crocs right here, all I would have to do is tap on it. And again, you will see the page open up the product page just like normal. Then all you'll need to do is scroll down and right below the buy now button, you're going to see add to list. You're going to tap on add to list. And that's it. That's how to add products to your wish list on Amazon, as you can see right here. And I, if I want to view my list, all you have to tap on is view your list right here. And you'll be able to see your wish list as you can see here. Now that we have created our wish list, it is time to create a Linktree account. So you'll need to go onto Linktree. Once on Linktree, it is completely free to sign up. All you'll need to do is tap on sign up for free in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on sign up for free, you will be redirected to this dashboard on which you can start setting up your account. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to choose your Linktree name as you can see right here. So let's say for example, I want my Linktree name to be Jason. That name is already taken, so let me choose something else real quick. Okay, that's the name that I want to use. And then I'll enter my email address and I'm going to tap on create account. After I've done that from here, I'm going to create a password. So let me do that real quick. Then I'll tap on continue. And once you have created the password, you'll be redirected to the dashboard on which you'll be able to start editing how your link tree look. So you can tell them your name right here. Tell us about yourself. Then I'll tap on continue right there. Select one category that best describes your link three. And you can see business, creative, education, entertainment, any one of these options you can select. For this example, I'll select entertainment. Then after selecting entertainment from here, you can select any one of these and I'll tap on continue. After tapping on continue, you will see the different offers that Linktree have. So if you would like to go onto one of their paid plans, you can see it right here. So for example, if you want to go onto the starter plan, you can see that it costs $5. But for this example, we'll be using the free plan. So I will select free, then tap on join for free at the bottom of the page. Then after doing that, you will see to verify your account, click on the link that was sent to your inbox. So let me quickly go into my inbox. Inside your account, you are going to tap on continue to link three. 
then you'll be redirected to this page on which we can start editing how our link tree link will look. So the first thing we're going to do is stop right where you see add link. Then we're going to go back into Amazon and we want to go onto our wish list. Once on our wish list, what we're going to do next is go over to the top right hand corner, right where you see send list to others. You're going to tap on that. Then you'll see invite someone to view only. You're going to tap right there as we don't want them to view and edit. But if you want them to view and edit, you could tap on view and edit right there. Then we're going to copy link. Once you have copied the link, you're going to go back into link tree. And from here, you're going to paste the link right where you see URL. Then you're going to tap on add. After you have tapped on add, you can see how the link looks right here. Just give it a few seconds. So the link looks right here as you can see an example of how it looks. And also if you would like to add any other link, you can do that. All you'll have to do is tap on the plus again right where you see add link. And for example, if you want to add cameo or if you'd like to add a YouTube video or TikTok video, you can also do that if you would like to add even more options. So let's say, for example, you want to add your PayPal. You can do that right where you see PayPal. You could tap on that. And from there, you can add your tip jar or you can request payment as you can see right there. So you can add practically anything to your link three. And also if you set up a store, for example, square, or you can use store right here. Or if you would like to add a contact form or so on, you can also do that by tapping right where you see contact form right here. And from there, you will see your contact form. You can see right here. You can add practically anything. And if you go onto their paid plan, you'll be able to customize how it looks by tapping right where you see appearance. You will be redirected to this page. And from here, we can edit our profile pic. So instead of just having the letter J right here, I could pick an image. So let me tap on pick an image. And from here, I could choose to upload my first I could choose to upload my own image. All I'll have to do is tap on select files to upload. And once I've tapped on select files to upload, I could go into downloads. And from there, I could choose any random image. So let me just choose a random image real quick. For example, this one right here. And I'll tap on open. And once it has been added, all I'll have to do is tap on save. Then tap on upload. And you can see that it is now being added. So my profile pic has changed as you can see right there. And also if I would like to add something to my bio, all I have to do is tap right where you see bio. And if you would like to add social icons, you can do that. All you'll have to do is tap right where you see social icons. And from there, you'll be able to add your social icons as you can see right here. So you'll be able to customize how your link three looks. And by the way, you can also check out the analytics to see how many persons have viewed your link three link and how many persons have clicked on it by tapping on by tapping on analytics at the top of the page right here. And to share your link three link, all you have to do is go over to the top right hand corner, right where you see share. You are going to tap right there and after you have done that you will see share my link three you could tap right there or you could go way down to the bottom and then you'll simply tap on copy to copy your link three link and from there you'll be able to share it on social media or whichever platform you want and that's it hope you found this video